Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 5th of April. I'm James Spann. More very active weather coming up. We'll have a round of rain and storms tomorrow night. Maybe severe storms. Much colder for the weekend. More like winter time with a freeze possible. In fact, if not likely by Sunday morning. And more cold air by the middle part of next week. So let's dive in and talk about it. Here we go. This is the upper air look. The flow at 500 millibars. You can see got a deep vortex over Canada. Down below that, a very dry air mass. A few cirrus clouds. That's the visible satellite view this afternoon, but lots of sunshine getting through. And after a frosty start, we are mostly in the 60s this afternoon. Birmingham at 66. Still below average, but feeling a bit better. Around the nation, very cold air continues over the northern states. And again, we'll see that next shot of cold air coming in here during the day Saturday. In fact, Saturday looks like a cold, raw, winter-like day. Up north, we got winter weather advisories in effect for parts of Nebraska, Wyoming, Montana. Looks like a winter storm watch for parts of northern Kentucky up into southern Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. How about that for the early part of April? Things are quiet down here. This is the severe weather outlook for the rest of today and tonight. No severe weather expected, but tomorrow... We've got a risk of severe storms basically from near Dallas all the way into West Alabama. We have an enhanced risk for places like Jackson, Monroe, Shreveport, Texarkana, Tyler. In Alabama, the uh, SPC guys have pulled the risks farther to the east. So we now have the standard slight risk as far east as Fayette, Tuscaloosa, Greensboro, and extreme northern Baldwin County around Uriah. We've got a marginal risk over now to near uh, Pell City and Talladega, Troy and Dothan, the areas in darker green. We'll talk about the threats here as we go. And keep in mind, this outlook runs through 7 a.m. Saturday. After 7 o'clock Saturday morning, a marginal risk for the southern part of the state, the standard slight risk south and east of Alabama. Rain for the next seven days, pretty good bit here across the deep south and the southeastern states. In Alabama, most places should see between one and one and a half inches between now and Thursday morning of next week. So let's dive into this. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 1. You can see that uh, vortex over Canada down below that. We'll expect to see clouds increasing during the day. A decent part of the day should be dry, but the rain could creep in here late in the day. Let's go to the high-res NAM. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. And if this verifies, rain would be falling in the shoals in Athens, moving into Huntsville. But again, for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, and Point South, again, the daytime looks dry. We'll go to 1 a.m. Saturday, just after midnight. And you can see uh, rain and storms coming on through uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. Line of storms down in South Mississippi. And then by 7 o'clock Saturday morning, the rain down in South Alabama, the storms near the Gulf Coast. So uh, the, the rain mostly over early Saturday morning. And a decent part of the day Saturday should be dry but cold. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's look at the instability. And again, this seems to be the main limiting factor here. This is midnight central time uh, tomorrow night, 12 a.m. Saturday. And really, there's just not much instability for the northern half of the state. Uh, there is some, obviously, down south, especially for the southwestern counties, and that's going to be the main limiting factor. But there is a good bit of uh, helicity. Uh, SRH values are quite high. And this is the STP, the significant tornado parameter. And again, the uh, numbers come up to about one unit over southwest Alabama. So uh, we could see some strong storms tomorrow night with strong gusty winds, kind of like the deal we had earlier this week. Uh, maybe in some cases enough to knock down trees and power lines, but in terms of the tornado threat, the higher chance of that obviously down there in the southwestern part of the state. And again, uh, this would be tomorrow night from really about midnight until 6 a.m. Saturday for the north central part of the state. Now, this is the uh, big picture on Saturday. A surface low is off to the east. And it's going to be windy, and it's going to be turning cold here. Look at the numbers. These are temperatures valid at 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. 
This is showing 44 for Decatur, Coleman 45, Birmingham at 51. Clouds, maybe some drizzle. You factor in a strong north wind. It's going to be a cold, raw day. Uh, not a Chamber of Commerce day at all. But again, the day should be mostly dry with the uh, big rains coming through tomorrow night, ending very early Saturday. Now, Sunday, we clear out and we start the day most likely again down there toward the freezing mark, uh, 30 to 35, much like this morning. Then the high Sunday afternoon will most likely be in the 60s with a sunny sky. Uh, Monday looking dry. A little wave might bring some light rain late Sunday night or early Monday morning, but with each run, it looks drier and drier. And if this is right, Monday would be a pretty decent day, maybe some sun with low 70s. Tuesday, cooler air begins to drop in. Highs will drop in the 60s, and this is Wednesday. Wednesday morning with a surface high on top of us. We'll probably see 30s. There could be some frost and a decent chance this is the last big opportunity of frost or freeze for, for the season. There could be one or two mornings with the colder pockets getting down in there, but uh, hopefully this will be the last one. And then this is Thursday of next week, a week from today, April 12th, troughing out in the west and a dry air mass here. This is the end of the forecast period, Sunday, April 15th, big trough over the east. Another shot of cooler air, but again, uh, most likely we'd be in the 40s if this were to verify that morning. Check the numbers coming off the GFS Ensemble. Look at the Sunday morning, 31. Wow. And again, th that high Saturday, 62, that's going to come at like 3, 4 a.m. Uh, daytime temperatures, 40s and 50s. And then Wednesday morning of next week, it's got us down to 37, and that's when some frost is possible. And again, you can see after that, things look a little closer to average for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.